Hi, I'm Spencer from Shared Nurseries, and today we're going to talk about watering plants in your garden. Just like people, plants require water. It's important to water your garden at least once a week if it's established, and for new plantings we recommend every two to three days. Usually you can tell when a plant needs water, there's a few physical traits it's going to start to exhibit. The first trait is that the plant is going to start to wilt. The leaves will start to curl on themselves. Another trait you'll start to notice is that the color will change from a very vibrant green to sort of a gray green. It'll have sort of a dull color. These are two really good indications that you should water your garden. You can feel the soil as well in your garden. If the soil is sort of cool to the touch, that means there's still moisture present and you don't have to water. If you touch the soil and it's warm, it means that water is required. The best time of day to water is in the morning, usually between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. This gives the garden a chance to absorb the water and all the plants a chance to dry before nightfall. If water sits on the leaves during the evening, you'll be more prone to diseases like powdery mildew and rust spots. I'm in front of one of our gardens at Shared Nursery's head office, and I brought a few things with me today to sort of demonstrate proper watering technique. A few good tools to have in your garden, of course, are watering wands, garden hoses, watering cans. We do sprinklers a lot as well, mostly for your lawn, not so much your garden. And of course, soaker hoses and tree gators are really good for watering large trees and shrubs. When using a watering can to water your garden, we usually get asked, how much water do I give my plant? It sort of depends on the variety of plant you're growing. For example, herbs and vegetables will get roughly half a watering can once a week, whereas shrubs, perennials, and trees, usually it's one to two watering cans once a week. When watering with something other than a watering can, like of course a garden hose and wand, you want to actually water your plants very slowly. You move at a speed that will allow you to get water around the base of the plant without allowing it to run off. When watering the garden with a garden hose, it's important to remember a couple quick things. You want to try to avoid getting water on the foliage of the plant. If you get water on the foliage of the plant, you can get diseases like powdery mildew and rust spots. When you water, you want to water as close to the ground as possible, and you want to move at sort of a slow pace. You want to move just fast enough that the water doesn't pool in one spot, but not too fast that the water doesn't get absorbed. Proper technique would have you come down like this and slowly water around the plant. Now that I showed you guys how to water with a garden hose and watering wand, I'm going to show you how to water with a watering can. It's the same premise as before. You don't want to get water on the foliage of the plant. You want to try to get it as close to the root zone as possible. And for perennials, we're aiming for roughly one full watering can per perennial. So we're gonna start watering just like this, as close to the root zone as possible, and we wanna move back and forth relatively slow. This allows water to absorb into the soil. And now that I showed you guys how to water, I'll cover a few of the techniques that aren't so good for watering, some of those bad gardening habits. The one I like to think of and refer to a lot is called fighting the fire. It's when you take your garden hose and you spray all the plant down, leaves, flowers, everything around it. Um, this leads to a lot of disease issues on plant material and doesn't actually get any water down to the soil where the roots are. And that's all there is to watering. Thank you very much for watching this video today. If you have more questions, feel free to leave a comment below, visit us on Facebook, or stop into any one of our garden centers. If you follow the steps I showed you guys here today, you'll be garden experts in no time.